Questions? Yes. Um, that's the effect of the warrant, but the warrant is actually the, the arrow going up and the arrow going down, right? It, it, which is to say, you have to explain in the warrant um, why you're looking at this particular quality, and you also ex have to explain why that quality is, has to be found in that other thing that's on the other side. Right, so so you're, you're 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 identifying with the warrant. You're you're giving us that explanation, right? So, um, right. So, this is the warrant. The effect of this is to create that relationship. But in order to create that relationship, we have to have an explanation for why this relationship holds. You would. Yeah, you would explain that process, essentially. Well, basically, this idea that the windsock is being moved by the wind, and then, oh, we understand, well, of course, then, obviously, if the wind's going that way, or the windsock's going that way, the wind is going that way. Yes? No, you can't, it, you can't, so, like, you know, if, if you were just to, 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 to give us more windsocks, right, that's not going to give us the explanation. Like, if somebody doesn't understand what a windsock does, then just showing them more windsocks is not going to help them, right? Um, you could, it, it helps them to say, oh, in this case, in this case, in this case, it's all the same. But you could, you could do the same thing. You could see a line of cars going to the south. I mean, the, the, you know, an alternative argument is this. The car is going south. The wind must be going south, right? And you could point to, like, you know, I don't know, on the... You know, the 405 freeway, lots of cars going south. All these cars are going south, therefore the wind's going south, right? Because we've got so many examples of this. But that's not enough. You need to have the warrant that explains to us why there is that relationship. Yeah. Again, every example needs to have an explanation. So let's say the example you point to is that um, the mayor um, paid all this money to a particular contractor, right? And so you could say that's an example of quick behavior, but you have to explain it. You have to say, well, this contract happened to be his brother-in-law, right? And that's why this is crooked behavior, right? But if you just look at it, it might not be crooked behavior, because, but you need that explanation in order to explain why it is. Yeah, so you know the, the the warrant is the explanation. It's it's really the, you know, it's it's a lot of the work of the analysis is in the warrant, right? Um, and, and even though you know what it's doing is is creating the links between claim, reason, and evidence, right? That that creation of links that's the work of the, of the argument, in fact, right? But you know, but the result of that work is claim, reason and evidence, right? That's, that's what we see, that's what we, is visible, I suppose, in the argument, where often the warrant is not visible. Um, but often, sometimes it is, right? Okay. Um, so, we're going to move to, oh, okay. The, uh, the warrant links the evidence to the claim. And, and so here, I'm arguing against the craft of research, because they claim, they, they're, their argument is that the, the, the warrant links the reason to the claim. Yeah? And I'm saying that, mm, that doesn't make sense because we need to, 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 to close that whole loop. Um, and if you're saying that it's links the reason to the claim, you're not, you're not doing that. Yeah? Going up and down? The difference between going, so, so going up is, so you're, you're starting with an event, right? You're starting with, um, you know, looking at something. We're going to start with this table, and we're going to say, oh, the table has four legs, right? Or you could say, oh, you know, you, you're going to focus on one characteristic of the table, but a different characteristic is, oh, um, you know, the, the, the table's gray, or it has a gray top, right? So that would be a different characteristic, right? 
And your warrant is going to tell you which characteristic you're going to focus on. What's important to you about the table? That's the first thing, right? Because that's what it's doing. You know, the windsock, you know, what's important about the windsock? It's not that it's, the color is not important to us, at least here for this analysis, but the direction in which it's, it's blowing, that's important to us. Or how high it is is actually not important to us, right? There's all these other characteristics, and the warrant is telling us which one to focus on. So that's the sign going up, right? Because we're starting with all sorts of different characteristics, and we're going to pick out one to focus on as the characteristic that, that's important to us. Going down, we're starting with the characteristic. We're starting with the blowing to the south. And then we're going to look at, OK, what other things share that characteristic? Right? And we identify two things. One is the wind, but I also identified this car going down the freeway. Right? And so all of those things share the characteristic. But, but we're starting with the characteristic and looking for events that have that characteristic. So that's why we're going down from the characteristic down to an event. Right? OK? But then it takes the warrant to tell us what's really important here is that the wind is going south and the windsock, not that the car and the wind are going south. Right? Because there, we're saying that there's this correlation between the windsock and the wind, and we're not saying there's a correlation between the car going south and the wind. Right? Because of the warrant. Right? Okay? <coughs>